Hello book besties and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the sixth day of Vlogmas. I'm very excited for this week because I'm going to be reading all Christmas books. It is already halfway through December and I have not read one single Christmas book and I'm so excited to be starting one of these. I went on my Instagram story and asked you guys which book I should start my holiday book week with and you guys picked The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. This is honestly really tiny so I don't think that it's going to take me that long to get through. I think that this book sounds so cute because basically I think that the female main character is kind of like a type A personality and then she is forced to work with her boss's frustratingly cute nephew Teddy Rivera um, and then they end up working together and Teddy kind of puts like a wrench in her plans and like kind of challenges her type A personality. But they accidentally switch phones one afternoon and then they realize that they've been hiding things from each other. I just think it's such a cute premise and it just looks very cute and I'm so excited to read it. Besides the book that I'm starting with, I will be reading Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, One Christmas Morning, Holiday Romance. Honestly, I think that this is the one that I'm most excited to read. And One Last Gift. If I'm being completely honest, I do not think that I will get through all of these books, but I just want to have a nice selection to choose from. I am very excited, so let's get into it. So I thought that I would pop on and do a little update because I did get to read a little bit more last night. I am loving this book so far. I am about 70 pages in and it's really, really cute. The female main character, Lila, she works at like a holiday gift shop, but it also sells books and she is a very big book person. But also what I didn't know was that she is like a book blogger. So like she like writes her reviews and like posts them online and stuff like that. So it kind of reminds me of like what I do. So I really relate to Lila with that. Like her blog is like specifically Christmas romance books I think. I think it's called Tinsels and Tropes. It's really really cute. And also I love when we have like the clashing personalities because like I think that I said this in the intro but she has a very type A personality and he has like a very like whatever type of personality and now she's like forced to work with him and like forced to train him. It's like not really going well because he's not really being receptive to what she's trying to do. It's like really really cute. I'm having such a fun time. Like for the first holiday read like we're off to a good start. I do have to go to work today. Um, it is pajama day, which is why I'm all decked out on um, my pajamas and my Christmas pajamas to be specific. Um, so that's why I'm wearing this. I hope to have a little bit of time to read this like during breaks or something, maybe when I get home. I do want to have it like kind of finished by maybe like tomorrow. Maybe I'll finish it like tomorrow night, but I can start another one. Yeah, I just wanted to hop on and give you guys a little update. Good morning! I just finished the holiday switch um, so I thought that I would give you guys like a little mini review and all my thoughts. So for the very first half I was loving it. The main character works in like a gift shop and like she's very bookish and she has a book blog and I really like that aspect. And then we had the male main character Teddy um, and he was really cute and he was really sweet and charming um, and I really liked him too. 
right after about like the halfway mark, I kind of started to just like lose interest a little bit. I kind of was getting really bored. The plot like wasn't really keeping my attention anymore. So like the entire, like the book is called The Holiday Switch, right? And like the entire thing I thought was like they accidentally switch phones and then they like learn like secrets about one another that like they have to keep and that kind of stuff. But I felt like that part of the plot was like so, so minuscule. It was so, so tiny. So like when they swapped phones, it was just like an overnight thing. And then like they gave their phones back. And I thought that that was going to be like a bigger part of the book I guess. I guess I just kind of thought that there would be like a bigger climax to the story than there was and it honestly just felt kind of flat for me. So I did give it three stars because I did enjoy half of it and then like the second half I was kind of just like eh about it. I'm still debating on whether I want to read Dash and Lily or if I want to read Holiday Romance but I'm really excited to read Holiday Romance because I've been seeing so many things about it, so many good things about it. I also had planned for this vlog to be like at least four books long. Um, I should have known this. I'm like kind of a slow reader. I don't really finish books like multiple books a week so hopefully we can get this done or get at least a majority of this finished before the end of this video. Faith's reading things on Instagram and YouTube um, really influenced me to buy this because she ranted and raved about it and said about how amazing it was, so I'm really excited about it. Hello book besties! I had originally wanted to film this after I had already finished this book but I'm planning on posting it tomorrow which will be Christmas Eve and I don't think I'm gonna have it finished by then. So I figured I would just pop on and film the outro now. I am about halfway through and I am loving this book. It's everything that I wanted in a Christmas book. It has like that kind of kind of feels like a cute and cozy Hallmark movie and it's just perfect. Also this is like the first time that like a book has said that it's totally hilarious and I've actually thought that it was totally hilarious. I cannot stop laughing. The characters are so funny. Andrew, my sassy little king, is so hilarious and I love him. And just like the way that these two personalities go together is just amazing. I'm very quickly becoming a Katherine Walsh fan and I hope that she has other books because I want to read them. I really wanted this video to be a little bit longer. I really wanted to like finish at least three books, but you know, reading at my own pace, it was a very busy week, so at least I almost finished two. As always, if you'd like to connect with me on my other social media platforms, you can follow me on Instagram at the Heartfelt Library, on TikTok at Heartfelt Han, or on Goodreads at Heartfelt Han. As I said before, when I post this, it will be Christmas Eve, so I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.